going to be voting yes today. I wish I could have voted yes on this the first week of session because we knew this was coming. And this is, again, nothing more than a legislatively created crisis that we could have addressed months ago, not a week before the deadline. This is a crisis in which we unnecessarily created a lot of anxiety within parents and teachers and administrators, not knowing if they would be able to legally spend the $1.2 billion that had already been appropriated to them by March 1st. You know, as I sat here and listened to some of the floor speeches, I just, I apologize, but I feel compelled to correct the record. 20 by 2020 was not the brainchild of public school supporting Republicans. 20 by 2020 occurred because of the dissension of 70,000 red t-shirted parents and teachers and allies that came and fought for public education funding. I know that because specifically that year, the governor was proposing a 2% raise for teachers and House Democrats were holding out and begging him for a 4% raise to which he said, no, I'm sorry, there just aren't the funds. But lo and behold, 70,000 red t-shirts changed the story. So when we talk about a 20% increase, let's give credit where credit is due. And it did not originate in a Republican budget. The fact of the matter is we are in the final minutes addressing a crisis that we created, but it only addresses 2022. And we're doing it, I don't know, maybe it was a game of chicken with the court, which I would never recommend to anyone. And we have not addressed the long-term issue. And when we talk about, well, we're spending billions of dollars and that's why we've exceeded this limit because we've invested so much in public education. I think the truth is this is an antiquated, arbitrary, outdated limit established in the 1980s. Much has changed since the 80s. Technology, the cost of STEM classes, the list goes on and on. So let's not pretend like we're just appropriating so much money that it's just exceeding this arbitrary and outdated limit, except for the fact that it's arbitrary and outdated. We need to eliminate this issue altogether by eliminating <coughs> this limit. If at the end of the day you argue that we're exceeding this limit because we're appropriating so much money, but yet we continue to be at the bottom of the barrel in terms of funding, in public education in Arizona, whether that's 48th, 49th, or 50th, we're really not addressing the public education funding issue. And so I apologize for taking this south, but I, I can't sit still without correcting the record. This didn't need to happen, it shouldn't have happened, it should have been addressed earlier on, but I am glad that there are clocks, whether it's the clock of June 30th or the clock of March 1st that finally gets us to do the job we should have done earlier, and I vote aye.